All right, here I am. Another day in the gym. Another day getting pumpy and lumpy. Pumpy and lumpy, man. Got my pre-workout here. Pre-workout, as you can see, I'm half finished this puppy on the way to the gym here. And I already had some uh, mackerel on the way. And I had uh, and I had the super aminos back here for after the workout. So basically, I'll be taking those after the workout. I'll take 10 of those. I already took my 10 with my uh, pre-workout there. And I'm bringing gifts. Gifts for the front desk. Gifts of mackerel fish for the dude at the front, Donovan, who's, uh, who's dieting right now. So I brought some fish for him to try because mackerel is good. High levels of phosphatidyl serine, I've heard. And that's healthy for brain function and nervous system function. So yeah, give it a try, guys. Give it a try. Donovan smells like fish now. Train the muscles, not the joints. Welcome back to Natural Land Bodybuilding, and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about shoulder presses. Now, I just had somebody in the comments talk to me about their shoulder pressing and say, what's the difference between standing shoulder press? or seated shoulder press. Now, the major difference is this. When you're standing, you're gonna be using other muscle groups or at least more muscle groups that are involved in stabilization and also involved with you having to be remaining in the vertical position. You know what I'm saying? So when you're forced to remain in the vertical position, such as when you're doing a standing shoulder press, different muscles are gonna come into play because now the bar has to travel forward and back forward and back, right? So that's gonna bring a lot more trap into the movement, right? Not to mention, of course, you have to stabilize with your spine and you know a little bit of legs and stuff like that in order to basically make sure you stay standing up as you're moving this weight, right? Because there's gonna be a little bit of a body sway and you're gonna to have to maintain proper torso form because of this. Now, when you're seated, the difference is, is that you can really just concentrate on taking those delts to failure and you're not going to get as much trap development because when you're seated you can get into a position where it's almost a glorified incline because you're leaning back a bit and now the delts can just go right to failure. There's no longer that bar traveling forward and back quite as much. So there's definitely an advantage to doing seated when it comes down to isolating the delts but I would not recommend getting rid of standing shoulder press altogether because again, you are going to be working a little bit of that rotator cuff along with the traps and getting that whole girdle to work together in the upper back, right? So there is definitely benefits to that. So in the end, you have to look at your physique, look at what's developing and what's not developing and assess it from there and say, oh, well maybe, you know, if I need more trap development, maybe standing shoulder press is my thing. Or maybe it's not, maybe it's, maybe I gotta do a different exercise or maybe my delts aren't going to failure enough because I notice my lower back is basically hitting failure first or I'm not able to stabilize the weight properly or you know I'm off balance or something or some, one guy said he has scoliosis and stuff so there can be these other factors that go into standing shoulder presses that prevent you from really pushing the delts into failure and therefore seated shoulder presses might be better for you but one thing I do know for sure no matter which one you choose the seated shoulder press as a general rule will help you take your delts into a deeper level of failure because you're not including so many other body parts at the same time, right? So think of the standing shoulder press as a way of getting a bunch of different body parts to work together in unison. And through that collaboration, you get that systemic stimulus I talk about as natural bodybuilders, like natural bodybuilders need that systemic stimulus to get overall muscle growth. But if you want to really isolate that one muscle group called the delts, especially the front delts, if you really want to hit them and put them into failure, then the seated shoulder press is for you. So I go back and forth. I'll do standing shoulder presses sometimes, and then I'll go do seated shoulder presses. So I don't necessarily stay with one or the other. I basically always rotate them up. So that's a quick answer to the question in the comments. I hope this helps you out in your training. Thanks a lot for watching. If you need to get home, just go to naturalgolandbodybuilding.com and 
Take care for now. Mountain.